All right, what's up, you two? So as you can see from the thumbnail today, we're gonna to be installing a solo performance exhaust system on this 3.8 Genesis Coupe. So the solo performance exhaust system, catback exhaust, starts from, of course, the uh, test pipes right here. So what we're gonna be doing here is, usually you have a 19 millimeter right here that hold this, that holds in this OEM white pipe, but instead we have 14, so I'm gonna take off these the top and bottom bolt real quick. So for the bottom bolts, guys, they're pretty easy to take out. I mean, uh, impact right here and right here. Top bolts are a little more trickier. What I like to do is get two extensions or a big extension for a half inch impact driver and pretty much slide it in from right here. There's like a little opening from right here to over here. And that reaches this bolt. And then same thing for this side right here. I slide it in from my angle I'll slide it in from an angle right here, or on this side, my bad. I'll slide it in from this side, and it'll reach it all the way over here to this top bolt. So I'm gonna take the remaining two bolts off real quick, and we'll go on to the next part. All right, so we got our bolts removed. Now this is pretty much free. So guys, on your stock exhaust system, um, you would also have this cross, uh, this cross beam right here. It's like a little cross beam. Um, it's held by, together by two tens or two twelves. Can't remember which ones they were, but it's right here. And right here you're gonna want to remove it completely because with newer exhaust it's gonna hit it and it's gonna make a uh, like a like a clunky noise so you don't want to get rid of it so once you get done with that we're gonna go ahead and tackle this guy right there you can see it is a exhaust mount right there if i can zoom in real quick and that guy right there what you're gonna want to be doing is getting some wd-40 it's gonna be your best friend in this situation and you're just going to spray it just like that. So once you spray it with some WD-40, you can get this pry bar or a flathead or whatever the case may be. You're gonna go ahead and get it, kind of wedge it behind this mount and you're gonna pry against it. And just like that, that exhaust mount is out. Now we can focus on the rear part. So usually the OEM exhaust connects to the OEM muffler, which is right here, and it's held in together by two 19 millimeter bolts. However, this customer also has a custom um, exhaust, so so everything is welded, unfortunately. So our next step is pretty much going right where the diffuser is at, and we're gonna pretty much take off these uh, hangers right here. So they're held in together by two 12 millimeter bolts. So we're gonna take them off on both sides. So we're gonna take them off on both sides and pretty much drop the whole exhaust system as one hole. So as you guys can see, there are two 12 millimeter bolts right there. This is the exhaust mount back here. Just remove those bolts and it will pretty much just fall straight down. I'm gonna do the other side real quick and uh, then I'm gonna take out the exhaust and start putting in the solo performance one. All right guys, so as you can see, the stock exhaust is now out. So we have our solo performance exhaust in place right now. And what you're gonna be, wanna be grabbing from their hardware is pretty much the bolt and gaskets right here, cause that's what's gonna be connecting to the uh, test pipes. So we're gonna grab this first and then we'll focus on the clamps later. Solo performance exhaust system utilizes these clamps, okay? Instead of using bolts. Uh, they're pretty cool. Um, I like them more than using the traditional style bolts. Uh, just because these are known for holding up longer and uh, having, you know, you don't have to worry about bolts backing out and whatnot. But I will say that the, the solo performance exhaust system is actually heavier than the stock exhaust system. So just an FYI in case you guys didn't know that. All right guys, so what I like to do is I like to get this right side on first, um, get a, a bolt up to the top and from the top and the bottom, get them in here. And then once you have this kind of secured, what you're gonna wanna do is come back over here and pretty much slide in the uh, the hanger that we took off earlier right here. You're gonna wanna slide the uh, new exhaust hanger mount right there into the actual uh, rubber hanger right there. That way it can be supported fully. And once you have it supported fully, we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna mock these bolts in right there and then uh, we'll focus on the back piece after that. All right, so as you can see, we pretty much have all this sign mocked up. 
So let's go ahead and focus on the muffler part now. Uh, we're gonna put that under the car and pretty much mock it up to this uh, side right here. Now that I think about it, I think it'd actually be easier if we put the exhaust uh, tips on first. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy and this guy, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put them on. All right, so we got our muffler tips um, on the hangers now, just like so. Again, we're not tightening anything down. We're just mocking everything up. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do the tips first is because, um, so the way how I thought about it was, when I put the muffler on here, it's not gonna be supported. So I figured I'd throw the muffler tips on there too. That way I can connect all of it together and everything can support itself. And then I can uh, make some adjustments and mock everything up and then tie in everything to make sure it's all good. So right now we're gonna put on these clamps real quick. So right now we're just putting on the clamps on everything ahead of time before we throw on the final piece, which is the actual uh, muffler piece. All right, and just like that, everything is pretty much mocked up. So I'm gonna make some adjustments over here, pretty much like um, make it fit a little bit better here and there. So like slide it in more for these couplers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on everything that I see. And then I'm gonna tie in everything down. All right guys, and this is pretty much what it looks like with the solo performance exhaust installed. As you can see, it goes from an H pipe to resonators and all the way up to a muffler, which is right there. And then your exhaust tips. Let's go ahead and start this car up real quick and let's give it a sound clip. Luckily, I have some arc down pipes in stock, so I'm gonna slap them on this bitch right now and hopefully get rid of that noise. <laughs> 